How can some people predict rain? Simple, by using their sixth sense. Oh, chum pum. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Why are we afraid of the dark? Chum Pum is not afraid. Chum Pum loves ghosts. Oh, Chum Pum. In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. Does it rain diamonds huh? on Jupiter and Saturn? <laughs> yes, and Chum Pum is going to catch all of them. Oh, Chum Pum. Scientists believe that it can actually rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. These planets have methane-rich atmospheres. During storms, lightning turns methane present huh? in clouds into soot. As soot begins to fall, it is subjected to intense temperatures and pressures. These conditions squeeze the soot into chunks of graphite. As the pressure increases, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. Hmm. What is sleep paralysis? Simple. This is sleep paralysis. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when we are dreaming in a REM sleep, as in rapid eye movement sleep. Researchers suggest that when we enter REM sleep, two chemicals, huh? as in GABA and glycine, switch off the activity of our cells. This is done to stop us from enacting our dreams and getting hurt. Huh? Hmm. Now, if we suddenly wake up during the REM sleep, but if GABA and glycine are still active, then even though we are conscious, we are temporarily unable to move. This is called as sleep paralysis. Hmm. Why do we dream? Simple. Because Chum Pum is a superhero in all the dreams. Oh, Chum Pum. One theory suggests that we dream to fulfill our wishes. It states that we are not able to express all our thoughts consciously. Hence, some of them find their way via dreams. Another theory called threat stimulation suggests that dreams are basically a defense mechanism. For example, nightmares put us in threatening situations, thus allowing us to practice our fight-or-flight response. Some people also believe that dreams don't really mean anything. Hmm. Why do our hands shake? No big deal. My hands as well as my legs shake. Oh, chum pom. When our hands shake, we are said to be experiencing hand tremors. Some problem with those areas of the brain which control movement leads to tremors. Hmm. We may experience hand tremors if we consume too much caffeine. We are suffering from lack of sleep or anxiety. We are suffering from a neurological disease such as Parkinson's. Hmm. How do mirrors work? They don't work. Chum Pum makes them work. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, visible light, or sunlight, is made up of seven different colors. Hmm. A mirror consists of a glass surface in the front, and behind it is an extremely smooth and thin metal film. Now, when light falls on the mirror, it passes through the glass surface and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. Instead, it reflects back all of them. As a result, we can see ourselves in the mirror. Hmm. Why do our feet stink? Nah, only Chum Pum's hands stink. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. The reason is bacteria. Bacteria love to grow in damp and dark places like our sweaty shoes. Also, they multiply easily in sweat. So if we don't wear socks, then their numbers will increase rapidly. The bacteria eat the oils as well as the dead skin cells from our skin. Now, these bacteria start getting rid of the waste in the form of organic acids. These organic acids basically give huh? our feet that bad smell. Hmm. Why do humans huh? love music? Because Chum Pum is the best musician ever. Oh, Chum Pum. 
When sound vibrations are produced in specific and intricate patterns, it is known as music. Some researchers found out that we love music because of a neurotransmitter called dopamine. For example, when we eat tasty food, the reward system in our brain is activated and dopamine is released. Dopamine basically makes us feel good. Similarly, when we listen to music, the same dopamine is released, thus making us love listening to music. Hmm. Why do astronauts wear orange and white spacesuits? Simple, because Chum Pum looks super in orange and white. Oh, Chum Pum. The orange spacesuit is called the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. This suit is worn during the launching or the landing of the space shuttle. If there is any malfunction during this period, and the astronaut decides to escape, then the orange color is the most visible against the blue sky and the sea. The white spacesuit is called the Extra Vehicular Activities Suit. This suit is worn when astronauts are working outside the space shuttle. Huh? Firstly, the white color reflects most of the sun's extreme heat as compared to other colors. Also, it is easy to spot this color against the vast black expanse of space. Mm. Does an octopus have nine brains? Yes, but it doesn't use any of them. Huh? Oh, chum pum! An octopus has a decentralized nervous system, <laughs> with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, huh? and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. How do we puke? No idea. Chum Pum never pukes. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm.